Hello, my name is Aaron Balky, and today I'm going to be breaking down my inventory management system built in Java using Java FX. The application documentation and source code is available in the description. It is built using Java FX and MVC design patterns, so we got a view, model, controller all available here. Uh, there are Java docs available on the GitHub as well. Here is the application. The application does provide functionality for adding, modifying, and deleting parts and adding, modifying, deleting products. You also are able to search both the parts and products from the main page. It does automatically uh, filter the products and parts uh, based on your search information. If you want to add a part, just go add part. Uh, you're able to choose in-house outsource. You're able to give a name, inventory amount, price, and then a max and minimum inventory amounts and a machine ID. The maximum and minimum inventory amounts do have to be, uh, uh, the, the minimum has to be less than the maximum, and also the current inventory has to fit between those two. So there is some data validation and air checking involved. So for example, if we have a part, uh, let's say keyboard, and we have five keyboards available and they are for $25 each and we have a maximum of 10 a minimum of one and we'll say machine id one and our in-house we're able to save that uh here's just proving the functionality of the search i guess <laughs> so if you look up something it'll give an error message no matches please expand your search and so that is how that works you're able to select the part modify it or delete it as well you can also add products. The way products work is you have to select parts to add to a product and then add the name, inventory, amount, price, maximum, minimum, all of that good stuff. So let's add the keyboard to this part. This is peripheral bundle. I do not know if I spelled peripheral correct, however. <laughs> uh, so we got, let's say five of those. Price is a hundred bucks and we have a maximum and a minimum. Uh, by adding this keyboard, we now have the keyboard uh, included in the peripheral bundle. And we are able to remove the associate part. Uh, it will give a error message or a uh, uh, informational message just to confirm you want to remove that part. Uh, so we can do that and then add it back and then save. And then we're able to modify and it will still be there. And that is sort of how this inventory management system works. If you are interested in a management system similar to this that uh, implements a SQL database connector in Java, uh, I would suggest checking out my appointment management system. I will leave a link to that as well in the description. Uh, it's very similar in the adding, modifying, and deleting functionality, but it also adds in the uh, additional layer of storing everything on an SQL database. This version, as soon as you exit the program, all of the information is gone. This was mostly to get comfortable with JavaFX and, and learn all of that good stuff. So, uh, thank you for checking this out and have a good one.